right, guys. Back at the office, about to tour one that I think is going to be the one. So let's let's see how it is. Oh man, very excited. Gonna have the team working out of this thing every single day. <laughs> Let's go, let's go. Yeah. This is the first room. Try to zoom out a bit. And then there's a second room right here. Nice. Ooh. The views. Great views over here. Yeah. And then the second room, or I guess third room, technically. All right, just got done looking at the office. I think it's the one, it's not too big. Three rooms for us to do everything that we need to do in. We're about to get a lot of work done. So we're with team. Go out. Guys, what a week it's been. Man, I just want to say that I'm super, super proud of the fellas. Archie Thomas Taki come with me down to Fayetteville during the presentation. It's definitely a lot of work. It was a very, very long day, but I'm really proud of how we did at our first pitch night. There's going to be a lot more to come. But oh, man, it was rough <laughs> uh, before getting on, on stage. I felt like like we practiced. Personally, I felt like I was super prepared and then everything that like we got set up, then everything just started going wrong with the live stream. Trying to get that up, working with Taki to make sure that, that we can get it so you guys can see our pitch and see a lot of the, the event. And yeah, we missed out on the first 30 minutes or so, but we're ultimately able to get it back up and running. I usually don't get nervous on stage, but golly, like my, I was just not in the zone at all. Like I meant to like pay attention to the pitches before us to kind of see, get like a flow for everything. And, uh, it just wasn't in, in the right mind. And then all of a sudden I hear our name called up then we get on stage and I felt like personally, I felt like I completely bombed. It was, man, that's pretty hard on myself, but I look back, watch the video and it really wasn't bad. Uh, especially for our first one. Lots of loose ends to tie up to make the story a lot more clearly articulated for people to understand, but man, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it may it may not have, uh, have seemed that way in the video, but my heart was pounding. I was like, man, like I felt like all the, all the preparation that I did prior to that point was just out the window. And I was like, man, nobody's gonna understand what's coming out of my mouth. And I just talked blanked out for most of it but yeah I think it was pretty good and that's the importance of knowing your craft and practicing it over and over and over again so that even when moments like this happen then you're still able to operate uh, on autopilot I felt like that's what happened here so the more pitches that we do the better we're going to get the more refined it's going to be the better of a story we'll be able to tell and the more money we'll be able to raise so just a, a current update on the WeFunder campaign. So as you guys can see, if you check up on the website regularly, uh, we are at $35,000 right now. Woo! So we're trying to get up to, to 150. We have the minimum set on there at 100,000. But uh, first milestone we're trying to get to is that 50K milestone because that allows us to fill out the form C and then to pull that out and then pay for the operations uh, so we we have our office location now uh, just got to get that paid for start moving in slowly and then uh, luckily I had no idea how commercial uh, commercial office spaces worked I was under the impression because when they have them listed they have the entire year price so I thought we we're gonna have to pay in one lump sum but we don't so that's that's very interesting, and that's going to allow us to do a lot more uh, with the funds that we get from WeFunder. Oh man, 
I'm telling you, we're going to get all this stuff built out. The, the team's going to be very happy. We're going to be operating on a whole nother level. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. What else was I going to say? Ah, yeah. We're at 35000 More realistically, we, sh we should be at... At about one one thirty five, uh, there's several meetings with uh, other individuals that I've been needing to do, uh, but based off of their schedule, haven't really had the chance to do it yet. Um, and I would like to stick with the people within our the people within our uh, our network. Uh, but that's what Wednesday was all about: expanding our network and meeting with new people. So. Uh, at this point, the friends and family phase is over. Whoever hasn't invested yet, um, you still have the opportunity to until we fill up that up, the allocation. But uh, I'm going to focus my time more so on the bigger accredited invest investors to get on the platform um, so we can quickly get to that goal. And then we can focus on what, what, on what really matters. Growing the community, uh, getting everybody that's been contributing to the solar wind process paid and taking this thing to the moon so yeah this concludes oh one more thing is i realized doing these uh future unicorn uh episodes that um i've been trying to to uh do it every weekday i think it might be more effective if i change them from uh from tuesday to saturday uh because i realized that there's so much that goes on during the day Sometimes if something happens at night that I may want to record and show you guys, uh, then it makes the episode drop really, really late or the next day. So it'll be better if I record the day prior and then get it uploaded in the morning so that you guys can see a full day's worth of content. So that's what I'm going to do from here on out. You'll still get five episodes a week, excluding this week. This week will only be four episodes because, as you guys could tell, <laughs> we didn't have any chance to really uh, upload one on Tuesday. Um, but we'll be back on our regular time next week. Um, so yeah, that's all I got for today. Remember, if you're starting a business out there, practice, 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 and be prepared. There's nothing you could do to be over-prepared. So yeah, love you guys, and I'll see you on the next episode.